Hi everyone, I want to have a talk with you guys today. Of all the messages that I receive, more than half are in regards to parents fighting. And a lot of them are very similar in that people are asking about um, the parents will step up for me. However, most of the time that he steps up, he will also bite me. And most of the biting occurs when people are trying to get the birds out of the cage. The first thing you guys need to take into consideration is this. I want you to take a look at Smokey. Take a look at her feet. Let me see if I can get her in focus. Can you get in focus there, Smokey? Okay. I want you guys to imagine what would happen to her if she was bitten by another parrot. You guys can see that because these birds are so much smaller than us and so much more fragile because of that, if she was bitten full force by another African Grey or even an Amazon, they could inflict serious injury to one another. But in the wild, we rarely see birds with missing toes. So we know that in the wild, parrots rarely ever bite each other within a flock. A while back, when I was at a bird store, I overheard a customer and one of the employees talking. And she was asking the employee about why her cockatiel bites. And the explanation given by the employee is that all birds bite. And that the owner has to just kind of accept that as a part of keeping parrots, which is something that I completely disagree with. When it comes to parrots biting, if, if you guys search Google, like you type in parrots biting or parrot aggression, if you go to any bird store or any um, pet store and you ask people, how do you deal with a bird that bites? A lot of the advice given are advice that revolve around very direct, very aggressive techniques to get your bird to stop biting. A common of technique that people um, advise is that you push your hand against the bird's chest and knock them off balance to get them to uh, bite. Smoke, you just want to scratch here. Hey, smoke. Now, even though that'll work in the short term, and even though your bird might learn to step up that way at the very beginning, eventually that leads to very aggressive behaviors later on. Another um, common suggestion that I've heard a lot. And let me zoom up, guys, on Smokey so that we can see more of her. Another very common suggestion that I hear people um, talking about is the step up drill, or it's also called Smokey. Can you step up? Good, good bird. It's also called the ladder uh, game, even though I don't even know why it's called a game because. For sure, it's not fun for your bird. And what the ladder game is, it's asking your bird to step up repeatedly over and over. That's horrible. You should never do that. If you guys even use the ladder game, in all honesty, if I was your bird, I'd probably bite you anyways. So to resolve biting, there are several things. Let's get to it. There are several things that I would recommend for you. I never command Smokey to step up. I don't call it a command because just saying that it's a command implies that I'm forcing her to step up. For those of you who have watched me for a long time now, you guys know that Smokey is a fully flighted bird. This room is pretty big, so whenever she wants, she can fly anywhere in this room and get away from me. So when training her, I always have to think, with a fully flighted bird, how do I get her to want to be near me? How do I get her to want to step up on my hand instead of going back to her cage, instead of going back to her perch? How do I make myself the most reinforcing and the most rewarding thing in her environment? So if you ask yourself that question, then it's pretty apparent that any techniques that rely on force, that, re, uh, that rely on using aversives, is counterproductive to what we're trying to do. So whenever I ask Smokey to step up, number one, make your intentions clear. Communicate with your bird that that's what you want them to do. So whenever I ask Smokey to step up, I always put my hand out in front of her and I wiggle my fingers a little bit. That lets her know, okay, he's going to ask me to step up. If my intentions are clear, then she's not going to think that I'm trying to do anything else. So it reduces the chances of you getting bitten in the first place. Um, so here's what I'll do. So I'll put my hand in front. Smokey, can you step up? I don't press my hand against her chest. Good girl, what a good bird. You guys can see that I didn't even press my um, 
fingers against her chest. I didn't in any way force her to step up. She willingly, just because I asked her very nicely, she stepped up for me. As a reward, she gets a major head scratch for that. When I ask her to step back onto her perch, I'm going to lower my hand so the perch is a little bit higher and ask her to step up. There you go, Smokey. Now, does it always work out this well? Of course not. Um, just like any bird, Smokey has her days. Sometimes she wants to step up, sometimes she doesn't. And our job is not to program our birds to become like robots. I know that there are some people who think that my bird needs to know that I'm the boss and they need to step up whenever I ask them or whenever I command them to do so. But in the wild, that's not how it works. So my relationship with Smokey isn't something that's based on dominance. And whenever she's reluctant to step up, because there are some days when you guys don't want to get out of bed, right? So in those kinds of um, instances, what I want to do is I want to, instead of just asking her to step up, maybe she doesn't want to. Let's offer her something that gives her a reason to step up. A good um, way to do that is by using treats. I'm just going to be using a sunflower seed. And maybe at first you can even feed your bird a sunflower seed. It doesn't have to be sunflower seeds. It can be whatever treats your bird enjoys. And then now you give them a reason for stepping up. So I'm going to ask Smokey, you want the treat? Why don't you step up? Good girl. And then reward with the treat. But don't stop there. Whenever they're already on your hand, instead of immediately running around with them and just walking around the house, why don't you just treasure this moment, praise your bird, and lavishly reward them for stepping up for you. Look, what a good bird. All right, what a good bird. Go ahead and get back. Now, for those of you who have um, asked me this before, if your bird is really shy of hands, like if they step up for you, but it seems like they're really uneasy getting on your hand, and they're really super shy, I would highly advise you not to walk around with your bird yet. If you can see that when getting on your hand, your bird is anxious to get back to the perch, all I would do is step up, good bird, reward, and then send them right back to the perch. That lets them know that when they step up onto your hand, they're not stuck there. That you're only asking them to step up right before they can go back to safety, to their perch. Um, treats aren't always going to be available. So if you guys are like next to your bird's cage and you're, you don't have any treats at hand, but you want to take them out, but they're reluctant to come out, this is what I do. Hey, folks, you want a scratch? Do you want a scratch? All right. Why don't you step up and I'll give you a scratch, okay? There you go. Again, give your bird a reason for stepping up for you rather than demanding that they always step up. Go back to perch. Good bird. You can even scratch your bird's head while they're on their perch or when they're in their cage. And when your bird is really enjoying it, what a good bird, Smokey. You can ask, all right, I can give you some more scratches, but you got to step up first. You want to scratch? Step up. There you go. What a good bird. And then you can scratch. Give me a kiss. Good bird, Smokey. Go back. There you go. How many of you are watching are here because of your Amazon parrot? Raise your hand. I can kind of um, tell that if you guys have an Amazon parrot, there are several things running through your head right now that your Amazon isn't as calm as Smokey. And I know, I've dealt with Amazons, uh, I've handled a lot of Amazons uh, before. And the thing about Amazons is that when they are overly excited, when they're overstimulated, they can bite the hands of even those whom they love the most. So what you guys have to um, look for and what I found to be a huge help with Amazon parents is that when you guys are dealing with an Amazon, body language is key. Now the good thing is, Amazons display their body language very well. So when you're approaching your bird's cage, and you're asking them to step up, if your Amazon parrot, or if your parrot just inches away and they're backing off away from you, or if they have their beaks out, and it appears that they're going to bite you. Now most birds will use their um, beaks 
as kind of like a third leg to help them step up. You guys kind of know if that's what your, your bird's trying to do, or if they're trying to bite you. But if it's clear that your bird is reaching the beak out to bite you, that's the bird's non-aggressive way. It's their nice way of telling you, hey, I want to be left alone. So at that point, just leave your bird alone um, and come back maybe a few minutes later and try again. You might find that you might just have to wait like 10 minutes for them to calm down. And after 10 minutes, and you ask them to step back up again, they're completely calm and they're really willing to step up for you. So again, watch their body language. If they're trying to tell you, if they're inching away, beaks out, or if they're um, displaying any kinds of behavior that tells you that they don't want to be picked up, you have to respect that. Give them time, and then try again later. Or give them a reason, and then ask again. And maybe that'll help. My camera is literally running out of battery right now, so I don't know how much more time I have on here. So the last few things I want to say is, if you guys haven't done so yet, I did create an Instagram account for Smokey. So if you guys go to Instagram and just search Wings and Paws, but you got to put like the underscore because Wings and Paws was already taken apparently. Um, if you guys just search that, you'll find my Instagram account and that's where I post a lot of pictures and just some quick short videos of Smokey on there and you can follow us more on there. Because of your feedback, I also went through my channel and then I kind of organized all my videos. So if you guys go to my channel, my most recent uploads are going to be like right here where it says uploads. Um, the next playlist is going to be popular uploads. The next one, if you guys want to hear Smokey talking, all of that is going to be here. Now, if you guys are looking for training videos, and I know that there are so many questions that I get in a day, and honestly, if I try to respond to every single question that I get, guys, I won't have time to upload or to post new content. So, a lot of the questions, though, that you guys ask are answered in a lot of these videos here where it says training tutorials. So, if you guys just click on, like, this tab here, It'll lead you to all the videos that I have pertaining to training. Um, further down, I have flighted recall. So if you're wondering how do I train my bird to fly to me on cue, all these videos here will help you out. If your bird is screaming, if they're plucking, and you're looking for ways to keep them busy, and you're looking for enrichment ideas, this is the tab you want to look for. And you guys can see the rest. Well, everyone, I hope that video was helpful for you. And I hope that through my videos, you guys are able to build a better relationship with your bird that's based on communication and on trust, rather than on trying to continuously try to dominate and be the boss of your bird. It doesn't have to be a struggle for dominance. And I hope that my videos can help you guys to establish the same kind of relationship that I have with Smokey with your own bird.